Hi, my name is Brig, and I'm with PDQ.com. And, and I'm Jeremy Moskowitz from Policy Pack Software and GPAnswers.com. All right. And today we're going to be discussing Least Privilege Manager, or how to elevate something if you deploy it, and you get that little nasty UAC prompt. Yeah, I mean, everybody knows that there are going to be some applications that even though you can deploy them all nice, and they deploy nicely, yeah. and they run, for the love of Pete, they still pop that annoying UAC prompt in your face. And there are also parts of the operating system, like Device Manager, or the Backup Manager, or whatever, that you can't get into when you remove yeah. local admin rights. And people are still running with the scissors all the time. Yes. And it's time, it's finally time to get out of that business. But when you when you remove local admin rights, you're in what I like to call the ditch. Yes. What's the ditch? The ditch is you can't do the things as a standard user that you could do as an admin. And what we're going to do first, we're going to use PDQ Deploy to deploy a common app that runs great, except it throws a UAC prompt in your face when it's time for showtime. So let's go ahead and start with that. Okay. We're going to install Tree Size Free, a common app. Yep. And we're just going to go deploy once. Okay. On and we're just going to deploy to my computer here. Okay. So. Do -do -do. Mm -hmm. And I could pick Active Directory. I could pick any number of things. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Okay. I just use this because it's easy. Sure. And I'm just, just I love inventory. Okay. All right. Go ahead and deploy now. Okay. And while that's cooking with gas, let me show let me show the end computer while this is cooking and some of the other challenges that I think that I see out yeah. there a lot. First thing is, again, I'm just a standard user, and now I'm in the ditch. So if I go to Device Manager, what does it say? Device Manager says, hey, man, I'd love to help you, but hey, you're just a standard user. You can look but not touch. So this prevents people from doing things like updating their own printer drivers or installing fonts and other important things. Or removing hardware devices, which I've seen Exa a lot. Exactly right. Disabling devices if yep. you don't want them. Or And here's another common thing. Look, I love that PDQ Deploy can deploy just about everything, yep. but there are going to be sometimes like, uh, like where one or two people at the company need an application and keep it updated. And you don't want to be the guy constantly being on the phone to making the packages and getting it deployed if it's just a handful of people. Instead, you can set boundaries or rules that says, like by way of example, only the teachers can install iTunes by themselves. But the problem is, is that when you install things like iTunes as a teacher, here's what happens. This is exactly what happens. There's no, nothing up my sleeve here. They download iTunes as a standard user. It tries to unpack. It looks like it's working. They go through a couple of screens. They go ahead and click on next, next, next. Next, and then install, and what do we get? Ah, the UAC prompt right in our face. Yep. So what we're going to do is boundary, boundrify them, ensure that the people who are currently in the ditch can overcome being in the ditch for just a handful of applications. I just happen to be using iTunes for this particular example. So let's go ahead and see if our tree size free made it over to our computer here. I'm going to go to uninstall and just see if it's here. Tree size, there, there it, is, it is, tree size free. So now let's go ahead and see it run. I'm going to type. Here we go, tree size free. There's two, it looks like two versions. It's really two ways to get into tree size free. One is the standard user. And the thing about tree size free as a standard user is you can't select the entire hard drive. It actually won't let you do it. You get access is denied here. Or if you try to run it here, you get a UAC prompt. Yep. That's the thing. There, there's nothing wrong with running tree size free. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is make sure that the entirety of the application or any application that throws a UAC prompt in your face is elevated and just those applications. So you're not running with the scissors full time. You're giving the person who needs the scissors the process elevation with least privilege. So we'll go ahead and go over to our management station over here. And then we'll go ahead and create a new group policy object for our policy pack engineers, our web engineers. So we'll go ahead and call this PP least priv demo. Okay. And we'll right click and click edit here. And you can do this for a gaggle of computers or a gaggle of users. I just happen to be doing this for my gaggle of users here. So I like to think about the user. But so we've got a user side policy pack. This is under least privilege manager here. And I will just I'll conquer all three problems in one fell swoop. So the first one we'll do is we'll create a new executable policy. And that's going to be for our friend tree size free. Now I happen to have tree size free already on this machine to sort of get an example here, but I could if I want to remote to another machine to do that too. And I'm going to say, look, anytime I see the signature of, of the tree size free guys, then they're cool. I know everything they do is cool to go. So I'm going to pick an executable here and pick a C program files x86. I think it's called Jam Software. There it was, Jam Software, tree size free, and pick that. And um, uh, yeah. For just a second. Yeah. What is the what's the reason why I would like to choose a signature condition rather than say like a path or something like that? Yeah. So path is an exact name, yep. which is totally fine. Maybe we can do that too. You can do hash, which is a digital fingerprint of a file. 
You can do signature, which is anything that's signed by an organization, and you can do combinations too, that's, which is what we're going to do for our last our so, last magic trick. So this is more secure to say that just a path would be. Yeah, because I could because I could be malicious and put it in a wrong path. Exactly. Okay, so if, right, exactly okay. right. All so right. signature is digitally signed, and you're good to go. There. Excellent. Go ahead and click next, and we're going to run it with elevated privileges. It's just as simple as that, and say let tree size free run as admin now. Let it be free. Let it be free. Next thing we're going to do, add a new control panel applet. All right, new control panel applet. This one's even easier. You just pick the damn thing you want off here. Boom, boom, boom. Device manager, and you are ready to go. Nice. That's it. Okay, click on next. Run that with elevated privileges. <clears throat> and then we'll go ahead and let device manager run. Okay. And then the last thing we said we wanted to do, it. we could also do Windows installers. So if there's an MSI, yeah. we can we can elevate scripts, we can elevate Java policies. Actually, I think the the um, the right. iTunes is not a Windows installer. I actually think it starts off life as an executable. So we'll do make it another executable policy. That's kind of weird, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, they package a lot of things in there. And let's actually do a combo rule because wait a second, if it's called iTunes setup, and then we rename blowmeup.exe to iTunes setup, mm -hmm. then that's bad. We yeah. don't do it by name. No. So maybe we'll do it by two things. We'll say if it's called iTunes setup and signed by Apple, two things. Nice. Okay, two things. So the more factors that you use, the stronger this gets. So we'll go ahead and click next, and then we'll go ahead and pick add a file. I happen to have a copy of that file here. I'll browse for it on my desktop here, and there it is, iTunes setup. Actually, that would be a particular location. I want it anywhere. I don't care where they get this iTunes setup. That's totally fine by me because. It's got to be signed by the Apple guys. Go ahead and find it again. Desktop and the Apple guys. Boom. That's very strong. Yeah. Name and signed. So go ahead and click next. Run that with elevated privileges. P.S. We're not going to show it now, but if you wanted to, you could also put the smackdown on things. If you wanted to say, don't let a particular application or don't let anything from a particular vendor run. So you can say anything digitally signed by this vendor, mm, put the smackdown on it. We're not going to do that here, but it's another thing. That you I can could do. imagine a couple of vendors that I would like to do that. For right, right. But I'm just going to be just <laughs> dash. Let iTunes install. Okay. Not let iTunes run elevated, just the iTunes installer. Yeah. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll go back to our endpoint here. Go ahead and run GP update slash force here. Give this a minute to uh, finish up. And let's review. The three things that we want to see happen is tree size free acting correctly. We want to get into control panel dev device, device manager correctly. And we want to let iTunes finish up and yep. install. It's, it's thing. So we'll go ahead and wait for this policy to wrap it up. And, and we'll, we'll have happy users out of the ditch. Happy users out of the ditch. Yep. Exactly right. Get out of the ditch. Exactly right. So now that this is almost done, we'll go ahead and close that window out. And now it's time to go ahead and run tree size free right here. And now no more admin oh, thing. And if we were to select directory, the whole computer the here, whole drive. the whole drive, there, there we, we go. go. Okay. No more UAC prompt. Nothing. No problem there. So we've elevated just this process not running with the scissors all the time. If we were to go to device manager as our second thing, before it said UAC yep. prompt, no more UAC, and, and it said you were a standard user, none of that. Now, if we needed to update a particular driver, if we needed to install our own printers, in another scenario, we can install our own fonts, all this is available to you. And then the last thing we said is a particular application for a particular subset of users, yep. if we wanted to enable them to do it without having to call the help desk and get that, uh, get that all through the pipeline, let's go ahead and see if iTunes this time wants to cooperate. We can see inside there's an MSI, but it started off life as an executable. Yes. So we'll go ahead and click on next That's here. Frequent. That happens a lot. Yeah. And the UAC and prompt that was there, no more there. And there we go. And there we go. Perfect. That's it. Well, PDQ deploy. Yeah. Doing its thing. Yes. Policy pack. Policy pack doing its thing. And really, just from a system administration standpoint, this is wonderful. In the space of how many minutes did this take? Uh, four or yeah. five. We did something that used to back when I started doing this would take hours. So this is wonderful. Wonderful stuff. If at all. Thanks so very much. Thank you.